Hey guys, in today's video we will learn what MAC address is. So, let's get started. Whether a wired network office or a wireless one, one thing is common for both environments, it takes both network software and hardware such as, cables, routers, etc. To transfer data from your computer to another, or from a computer thousands of miles away to yours. A media access control address or simply MAC address is a unique identifier assigned to network interfaces for communications on the physical network segment. MAC addresses are used for numerous network technologies and most network technologies, including Ethernet. Logically, MAC addresses are used in the media access control protocol sublayer of the OC reference model. Along with an IP address, there's also a hardware address. Typically it is tied to a key connection device in your computer, called the network interface card. The NIC is essentially a computer circuit card that makes it possible for your computer to connect to a network. An NIC turns data into an electrical signal that can be transmitted over the network. MAC addresses are formed according to the rules of one of three numbering namespaces managed by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, MAC48, EUI48, and EUI64, in which EUI is an acronym for Extended Unique Identifier. Every NIC has a hardware address that's known as a MAC, for media access control. Where IP addresses are associated with TCP IP, and MAC addresses are linked to the hardware of network adapters. A MAC address is given to a network adapter when it is manufactured. It is hardwired or hard-coded onto computer's network interface card and is unique to it. Address Resolution Protocol translates an IP address into a MAC address. The Address Resolution Protocol is like a passport that takes data from an IP address through an actual piece of computer hardware. Addresses can either be universally administered addresses or locally administered addresses. A universally administered address is uniquely assigned to a device by its manufacturer. The first three octets, in transmission order, identify the organization that issued the identifier and are known as the organizationally unique identifier. The remainder of the address, three octets for EUI48 or five for EUI64, are assigned by that organization in nearly any manner they please, subject to the constraint of uniqueness. A locally administered address is assigned to a device by a network administrator, overriding the burned in address for physical devices. Thank you for watching this far. If you liked the video, please throw us some likes and share the video so that other people learn.